When you first open Light Tools, you will be greeted with a new but empty model. There are various menus and controls along the top. The main portion of the interface is the 3D window where your model will appear and the system navigator is on the left. For our first light tool simulation, we will make a simple lens, disk source, and receiver. Then we will run a Monte Carlo simulation and analyze the irradiance on the receiver. We can add a lens to the system by going to the Insert menu. In this menu, you can check the many types of components you could add to your system. For our system, we'll pick Lens, Spherical. Now we can define the lens with a few clicks in the 3D window. To adjust the lens, left-click to select the lens, then right-click and go to Properties. To adjust the coordinates, go to the Entity level and we can change the coordinates to put the lens at the origin. We will then adjust the curvature of the first and second surfaces at the surface level. On the left side of the window, you can see that the lens element has been added to the components list. To adjust the optical properties of the lens, you can expand the optical properties manager and model properties. Right-click on Transmitting and choose Properties. We can see that this is a smooth optical type property. The Smooth Optical tab indicates it has 100% transmittance. We will make our lens account for the Fresnel loss by switching to it in the Advanced Properties box and pressing Apply. We will next add a source by going to the Insert menu, Light Source. We will choose Surface Source, Disk. We can define the disk source with a few clicks. The source now appears in the Illumination Manager under Source List, where we can inspect the properties by right-clicking on the disk source. The default is a 1 watt source. Here, we'll make the aim region collimated. The spectral region of the source is 550 nanometers by default. We'll switch it to a black body temperature source of 6500 Kelvin. When we press apply, the table updates, and we can click on a chart that is available on the tab next to it called the Spectral Region Chart. In Light Tools, we call the entities that collect illumination metrics receivers. To start, we will go to Insert, Dummy Surface, Plane. The first click defines the plane's origin. The second click is the point that is a vector normal to the double plane. To define it as a receiver, left-click to select it in the 3D window, right-click, then choose Add Surface Receiver. At this point, we have geometry, a source, and a receiver. So we can run a Monte Carlo simulation. Go to Ray Trace, Simulation Input. The total rays to trace is 25,000 by default. That will work for us for now. Press Begin Forward Simulation to run the simulation. We can view results by going to the Analysis menu, Illuminance Display, Loom Viewer. The Loom Viewer appears as a separate tab. The X and Y axes are the dimensions of the receiver. The irradiance values can be read from the legend on the right or 
by hovering your mouse cursor over the point of interest and reading the cursor readout in the lower left. By clicking on the 3D window tab, you can go back to the view of the model. You can overlay the illuminance on the dummy plane in the 3D window by going to the view menu, simulation results, false color. We can look at the receiver properties in the Illumination Manager receiver list. On the Properties tab, we could switch the units. We can expand the receiver and look under the forward simulation. In the Illuminance mesh, we can adjust the receiver's properties, such as the mesh dimensions, and look at other illumination details collected from our prior Monte Carlo simulation. So we just ran our first Monte Carlo simulation. At this point, please feel free to check out the other menus and controls available in Light Tools. For a library of Light Tools examples, go to the Tools menu, Example Model Library. In the Example Model Library, you can find a library of examples sorted by category, keyword, and even search. Each example contains a PDF that you can open with details and also the Light Tools files used for the example. Another resource is available in the Help menu. Under Document Library, you can find an introductory tutorial and an optimization module tutorial. With that, please feel free to explore during your eval. Have fun! Again, if you'd like to learn more about Light Tools or request a 30-day trial, please contact us at optics at synopsis.com.